Hello everyone, my name is Relax and Panic, and this is another reaction to Hana Monogatari. It is episode 5, it is the finale, and you know what to do, as always, if you want to see the reaction, go down into my descriptions, follow the link, replace the circumflex dot parts with real dots, and enjoy. Once you've done, feel free to come back here and hear me out about this episode. So, see you soon. For those that came back, welcome back! Now, um, well, as I said, already in the reaction in the beginning of it um i thought it, would, it was a four parter this arc and it was a fifth part so um i really ask myself what will they bring in because for me in um many ways they kind of ended the whole story already by revealing the fact that numachi is a ghost um by Kanbaru being kind of rescued, you know, she has um, no more longer the arm and she was more or less fine with what happened, I think. Um, so the question is, what are we aiming for? What do we try? Seeing that in the past, when it was about Aragi and the others, in most of the cases, those um, aberrations were rescued, stopped, whatever. I already guessed that we would try to rescue Numachi, to... Um, give her a way to say her farewell and that's what we did and i liked it it was an nicely done it was well done it um once again showed that between those two girls there was not only rivalry there was um well they didn't have much to do with each other but you could say kind of a friendship or um a liking and yes no question there there was the option that they could have been um, a couple. I mean, we heard Numachi say it in the past that she more fancies girls as well as does Kambaru. So they could have been a couple, and what a couple that would have been, right? So, well, sadly not in this case. Um, first things first, Kambaru got a package from uh, Kaiki, and he states that Gaian gave him that package. So um, it's once again. He, the con man, playing his very own game for his very own reasons. Although here, um, he did help. You know, he kind of put those two into each other's way. Um, he made sure they meet each other. He solved the problem for Kambaru with her arm. He solved the problem for Numachi being stuck as a ghost. Um, by both of them helping each other out in the end. So. Yeah, one might discuss and argue how much of it was his plan, how much of it was what he wanted, but I think that's what he wanted. He or in the past he said that he wants to help Kambaru. She's important to him due to being the daughter of someone he loved in the past. And um for Numachi, even she said she had contact with Kaiki. And he kind of well, she kind of asked him for help help as well. It was not really clear if he agreed or not, but um, you could say he solved that problem as well. So um, I know many of you um, consider Kaiki to be best girl of the series. I can see why. He's doing a lot of good things, but all of this while acting as though he's not doing it. Um, and he very often acts as though he's selfish. Which one might question. He may not be the best guy, but um, yeah, I can see the best girl idea. <laughs> I can see that. Um, yeah, we had the discussions between the two girls about the fact that Kambar cannot look at um, Numachi, which, well, there was this uh, comment that if you're not able to look at it, this is a reason for good and a reason for evil. Um, which I can understand in very different ways and very philosophical ways. So I see why Kambar says she cannot look at Numachi because she kind of likes her, because she kind of um, would wish her to go um, and, uh, well, go to heaven in the end here, or whatever kind of eternity to end her not even realized suffering. Um, but if you think about the sentence, you, uh, not being able to look at it and thus causing evil, um, I'm not sure about ca causing good, but causing evil, that's a general thing. Um, 
in in society in general so uh, we can look into the past when we are talking about as example wars or discrimination of minorities um, we can look in the present for that as well that people do not look if something happens around you um, and you know that is wrong and you don't stand up and you don't say anything you are part of the problem um, and I don't say I'm Mr. Perfect and doing it. Holy hell no. I had those moments as well. I'm I'm very uh, sure about that. There were moments where I uh, should possibly have stood up and helped someone. Um, I try to keep myself to that mark when I realize something um, injustice happening. But being, hum uh, being human and having the fears that every human have for your own health, for your own safety... Um, it is not something you do easily. So, um, as example, if you're in a train and you see someone being um, uh, threatened by, let's say, people who are not so nice, um, talking about, I don't know, gender, about race, about religion, whatever reasons for it here, um, it is not an easy thing to stand up and say, hey, wait, that's wrong, I will not allow it, because then it's you who has a target on it. Um, so the uh, sentence of not being able to look at it, in my opinion, is not only looking at it, but as well reacting to it. Um, I think that it, if you don't understand the problem, that makes it in a different way bad. Because um, if you do not understand that someone is um, being discriminated because you do not understand the concept why he is it um especially nowadays with all this gender equality discussions which is very complicated sometimes especially when it comes to people who are um of of uh how is it said um uh, by operations and by hormone treatment and so on are changing their sexuality um i think you cannot really estimate what they are in because none of us had this ever so that is very complicated because we do very often miss the understanding for their problems that's it or if um you're having uh, you see as example people migrating to your country you can never really understand what they are going through because if you never migrated to a country and you are one coming from a um possibly a country which is not as wealthy how could you really understand that how could you understand what fleeing from war is if you were never in a war? So if you can't be able, if you're not able to look at it, if you're not able to understand it, you may be causing evil as well. The idea of you're causing good, I'm not really sure about that. I don't get it. But well, as I said, it's very philosophical and I'm not sure if I understand the concept here completely. Um, we had the uh, we had the ball game, however, the um, very entertaining but very short, which I liked because it was more entertaining that way. Game, um, Kambaru very clearly stated that she believes Numachi will not use force to steal to grab the um, the devil head, which I agree. Um, it's not her style. But it additionally shows that she um, has kind of high standards for Numachi. She um, sees her in a very positive light. So um, you can there already guess there is more than just um, this, I do not like you, this rivalry. rivalry. If she would be a real rival um, in a negative way, then she would really say like, yeah, you will steal, you will hurt me, whatever. But she doesn't. Um, but she wasn't aware that she was a ghost. That was a little bit surprising because she very often talked about in life sentences, you know? In life it is like this and that, which always sounds a bit like she is reflecting about past, like saying when I was alive. But no, she's not. But, uh, well, they tried to trick us there, I guess. Um... Then they had the uh, question about what is better, to do something and regret it or to not do it. Um, sure, the best option is to do something and not regret it. I agree there was a Kambaru, but I think we all do. Um, 
The question is about do something and regret it or not do it. Um, in general, as human beings, we learn and we get better by doing mistakes, by making failures. Um, it is that way. We are designed to work that way, which is strange. Uh, we do learn by um, people informing us, telling us about their knowledge and we, if possibly we soak it in. Um, but when it comes to new stuff, we will never know if something works until we tried it. So someone has to try it and then regretting later on. That was a stupid idea. Sure, that's part of the game. Um, however, when I can talk about my um, past, yes, there were things in my past where I wished I wouldn't have done them. Um, and I do regret them, so there are those. Um, and in many ways, I would like them to not have happened. Um, so that I would avoid the negativities there. But then, and that's the thing, I think most of this teached me a lesson, told me something um, about life, about the world, about society, which I, in this case, possibly learned the hard way. Um, but I learned it. And I learned it for myself and in myself. And some of those mistakes told me something about myself. And those are the ones that I really cherish, although they were mistakes, sometimes hard mistakes I did, um, which I regret. But I regret them, those especially, not so much for me as for others who I, who I have harmed. So um, uh, this is where I agree with the girls not so much, because I think there are mistakes you sometimes have to do to learn about yourself, to reflect and to realize why you will never do that again as example um so there are some mistakes if you know already what that they will fail if you know already that they will be bad then why do them at all but i guess we're talking about those things where you are not sure um mm -mm -mm. yeah the the game itself was as i said very fast it was a one shot here so um, she used <laughs> she used Numachi as team player, as hold the ball for me, then took it back from her. Um, it was a little bit about the idea that one of them was a pure defense player who never got the ball passed to her, and the other one was a team player who always played together with others. So okay, nice one there. Um, I kind of expected when Numachi jumped in again that we would have like a position where um, Kanbaru is on top pushing the ball through the net while Numachi fr is from below and with the devil hand uh, using her strength to keep it outside so that they would be um, in, it would be on the net but not going through, something like that. Um, that would have been an interesting option as well because who has won then? Um, but they didn't go for that. I, I It was a, well, was a short, fast and good win. I like the fact that Numachi completely um, took it in good sports. So there was no negativity, there was no denial, nothing. They even laughed more about the position, you know. And um, there was this moment where you could see these two girls could have been really good friends. They could, there was an option for that in the past. Um, it's just that their ways split. Um, and as I said in the beginning, maybe they could have been even more, which I would have liked because I like Kimberly and I would like her to be um, happy. So, just saying. Um, well, Numachi left um, is possibly back to heaven. You could already see it when the Paul, uh, when the Paul, when the ball had passed, that there was like little light everywhere. And it started to flow a little bit upwards. Um, so it was like the first glimpses of heavenly energy, um, the gates of uh, of heaven opening, something like that. At least it felt a bit like the sunlight, you know. And um, when she turned away to and and turned back, Numachi was gone. So hopefully gone to heaven or to whatever is coming afterwards, if there's anything. Um, so it's nicely done. Um, they by doing so they skipped the 
glowing light and you cannot see what's happening effect which is very often seen when it comes to someone is going to heaven and you you can never see what's happening it's always like the light just gets stronger then gets uh, lesser and the person is gone so instead turning away turning back is nice i like it um which brings me to Kamber. So she um, asks Aragi to take the devil parts, which is, I think, a good idea. So a little vampire will be very happy soon. Um, but before that, there was an interesting thing in the night. So she does dream about her mother. And she does not dream like past things. She dreams like present talking with her. Which is interesting. I mean, I do not know very much about her mother at all yet. She seems to be a very interesting person, or was. Um, she definitely left a mark on Kaiki, no question there. She's someone who is important for many people, so um, I guess, hope we will learn more about her. And um, seeing that she can possibly still talk with her daughter in her dreams, um, maybe she's not really dead, I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, I guess we will see more of that in the future especially with her statement about be the poison um we had aragi creeping out a lot we had a bit of fan service not so much but a bit um i <laughs> i'd said it in the past when it was about aragi and his sisters um that's something i do not really like it's a weird because it's going from just making fun towards way more serious and this is something where i'm like meh it shouldn't be happening you know it's one thing seeing as example game of thrones there's something like that in as well incest is a theme um and uh jamie lannister said it very well in this series you cannot choose who you love i see that but it is just a genetically disaster if you're doing that because you don't want that to happen. Nope. Mother Nature says no to that. So it's not only about ethics, because that's something you can discuss about. It is just a biological thing that makes no sense at all. But, well, another chapter. Um, Kambara will let Aragi cut her hair. Another girl with short hair. What is going on? Why is everyone cutting their hair off when they are like, next chapter in life? Um, but, well, then... I did the same, so what? I should discuss about it. <laughs> um, she's going back to sports, I like it. Um, I think that will be the kind of the cure for her loneliness which, which she had. If you remember in the beginning of this season, of this arc, um, she stated that she's lonely because Aragi and Senjugahara are gone, and she's very much alone on her own and had the problem with the arm. Now the arm is gone, this problem is solved, and she's going back into sports. And I think this is a good thing because it is a team sport. She will have time socializing. She will meet other girls, possible options for um, friends and even more if wanted. And um, she is a nice girl. So I'm pretty sure she will make friends very fast again. So um, I think that's a good thing. Um, I'm not sure if we will see her again, to be honest. Because right now, it, it feels a bit like she's getting her life back on track. On to a normal life. Yeah. And it doesn't... So, and they ended up with the sentence, it doesn't matter if you do it right or wrong. Um, it's part of being young. Yes, which is a little bit what I discussed before. Making mistakes is a part of growing. Um, it's a part of growing up, about learning yourself. Um, especially when you're young, you are allowed to make mistakes. Sometimes you are even needed to. Um, we do teach kids things, but in, I mean, we didn't we have all this um, effects that you say stuff to a to a minor, like "Don't touch it, it's hot. Don't touch it, it's hot. Don't touch it, it's hot," and they will not listen. Until they touched it, they burned their hand, and then they know it, and they will not do it again. So, some mistakes you need to do by yourself, because you're not believing others. Um, so, it's part of being young, um, and it doesn't matter if you do it right or if you do it wrong, sometimes. 
the important thing is you do it because if you don't you will not learn about it so that was a nice ending for this arc i liked it it was a as i said in the last episode already it was a really good arc um it started off extremely slow and um, with a lot of long talks which in general i'm okay with but i need something happening and i need something to discuss about for these videos so the last episode was fantastic the window you've seen it you've seen my reaction um and especially my comments afterwards um the last episode was really good there was a lot in it a lot of um philosophical questions this one had one one or two as well as you have realized by now so it's a good arc i like it it once again shows the good girl best girl kaiki um so let's see where we are going for next i hope you liked that as always feel free to comment like and subscribe feel free to visit my patreon feel free to visit my my anime list page and my facebook if you want to so you can leave a like there as well and i will see you next time until then my name is relaxing panic goodbye and out